Chapter, so we will miss week one, two, and three, and then be available for week four against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think that it will probably see him bump a little bit in terms of ADP as a result. Um, and if you missed any part of the show prior to now, we did a full analysis uh, in hour one about what this means for Kendrick Miller, Jamal Williams, and of course Alvin Kamari. Back on the SM app. For now, though, we're going to welcome our good friend Jerry O'Connell to the show and talk a little fantasy football with him. We've got some time uh, on your hands to talk more fantasy football, do more fantasy football research this year. What with the strike, you uh, we normally are used to seeing you on the talk and Pictionary. How does how does uh, what's happening right now affect your ability to do any of that? Thank you, Line, which is uh, pretty interesting here in Southern California because uh, it's actually a cooler day today. It's only down to 98 degrees here on the corner of Ventura and Laurel Canyon. Um, by the way, if anyone wants like uh, rapid weight loss, uh, picketing to the ring. in the month of August in <laughs> Southern California, I would suggest that. I will meet you there. Um, but guys, I am I'm getting excited. I'm back in the... Uh, I'm starting to um, do some mock drafts. I have a lot of questions for you guys. I'm gonna, is it, a, is it okay if I just come oh. out with a couple questions? Yeah, yeah I thought we were gonna ask you the questions, but sure, let's go. Yeah, I wanna ask you, um, I wanna ask you about Nick Chubb. I wanna know why he's not going earlier. But uh, he's, he is starting to go earlier now. Uh, I actually moved him up to my RB4 and Earlier drafts, he was coming off the board around the turn in round two. Now you're starting to see that change a little bit where he is a top ten pick across the board. So in most leagues, he's going to go uh, as as a top five RB. And with Kareem Hunt no longer there, and with only Jerome Ford and you know, Demetri Felton behind him on the depth chart, I think we're going to see uh, the best of Nick Chubb this upcoming season. So I uh, certainly play error uh, that I'd be... Uh, I'd be targeting J.O. What about your, um, I, I know that, go ahead, go ahead. Are you going to draft any Denver Broncos this year? I don't, I don't mind taking Russell late as QB2. I, I don't mind taking Javante as a Really, really, Michael? Really? I, I, listen, I mean, depending on what... Remember in our league, I took him as my QB1 and played him for two weeks, and thank God I had Kirk Cousins on my bench. And thank goodness I had the wherewithal to play a few years of fantasy to know this is not working out. My God, oh. it, was a, it was a nightmare scenario last, last season for that team. Yeah, you're, you're hoping that Sean picks the elixir uh, to fix what happened last season. Is that all off the was nightmare, so you would think that things would be much better under Sean Payton, but I, I would draft Devontae Williams as a flex, yeah, I, I, I take Corbin like Sutton as a 4 or 5, I actually like Jerry Judy, I like Greg Dulcich, uh, so there, there's still some players there that uh, that I would target. Hey, who you got Joe Mixon, because I have him, I think he's like a total bargain uh, in the mock draft that I've done, am I correct in saying that? Yeah, you are, you are, and he, it's starting to catch up a little bit, but yeah, he's people were worried about him playing for the Bengals at all with the off-field stuff, and now maybe in the fourth round, maybe even in the fifth round, oh, and boy. earlier best balls. Oh, that's a steal. That's an absolute steal. You know what though? You know what though? That's what this game okay. is all about is getting children to the fourth round. Wow, when you see them up there and you're just waiting for your turn. Oh, such an excitement. You, you go back though and you look at his his uh, stat line and his numbers from last year and he had a 55 point game which is crazy we love that there's even the ability to hit a 55 number right we'll take that but um if you take that out of the mix he averaged 14 points a game Fabs. like it wasn't a lot of um consistent high scoring that we saw from joe mixon yeah, did that scare you at all what what makes me feel better about that is the offensive line got better. When you bring in Orlando Brown, that's based on stopping the run because Burrow picked up part, assuming Burrow's going to be okay, hopefully, with the, the cap injury in time for week one. So I, the, 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 there were certainly uh, there were so 